Pluto, the dwarf planet at the farthest edge of the solar system, still puzzles us. For a long time, it seemed that Pluto was an unmoving celestial body, dead and dull. However, the James Webb Telescope has now discovered a massive, kilometer-long structure that could even be a clue to life. What this means now, whether Pluto harbors an unrecognized secret or might become a proper planet again, you'll find out in this video. Join us on this journey and be amazed by the fascinating images. James Webb shows us a whole new side of Pluto. With James Webb's journey into space, a new chapter of space exploration began. Deeper, sharper, and more precise than any previous telescope, this space telescope gazes into the cosmos. James Webb will not only carry us to the beginning of the universe, but also unveil new secrets right at our cosmic doorstep. Possibly, the telescope has just found evidence for the existence of extraterrestrial beings. It was directed at the Kuiper Belt, the home of the former planet Pluto. After the New Horizons probe made new peculiar observations on Pluto's surface, James Webb was tasked to observe these structures more closely, and what the scientists saw left them in awe. A massive, kilometer-long structure winds its way across the surface of Pluto, and it's moving. Scientists were perplexed and again compared thousands of data points from New Horizons with the current observations from James Webb. In doing so, the unimaginable was revealed. Confusion Among Scientists One of the most distinctive features on Pluto is Sputnik Planum, a large white area crisscrossed by furrows and channels. This image captured by James Webb shows a mysterious object seemingly gliding over the surface. Although the space agency tried to debunk this discovery, ufologists and alien theorists were not deterred and claimed to have identified signs of extraterrestrial life here. Meanwhile, scientists see signs of peculiar life on Pluto in completely different phenomena. Bizarre, kilometer-long linear features appear to have moved over the years. Eight years ago, New Horizons took a glimpse of Pluto, and since then, structures in Sputnik Planum have changed dramatically. Could it be that the dwarf planet Pluto is not as lifeless and boring as previously assumed? And could living beings be responsible for these movements? We'll take a closer look. The icy plateau forms the left part of the famous Pluto heart. Although Sputnik Planum has a lower elevation than most surrounding areas, the surface is not entirely flat. It's divided into polygons and cells with a width of 16 to 40 kilometers. And at a low sun angle, the sizes of the segments seemingly change due to the variations at the angle of the incident light. When polygons and cells cast distinct shadows, the center appears visually elevated, creating an illusion of about 100 meters of height difference. It's already certain that the pattern in this plane was formed by dynamic processes. However, it remained a mystery whether these processes are still active. Presumably, the cell pattern was created by slow thermal convection of the nitrogen-dominated ice cover of Sputnik Planum. Thermal convection is a process in which heat energy is transferred through the movement of liquids or gases. When a portion of the liquid or gas is heated, it expands and rises, while cooler portions move in to fill the space. This creates a circulation known as convection current, contributing to heat distribution. The source of this convection current could be a reservoir possibly located several kilometers deep beneath Sputnik Planum. In some areas, the solid nitrogen at depth is warmed by Pluto's moderate internal heat, becoming buoyant. It forms gray lumps, then cools down and sinks again, starting the process anew. William McKinnon, the deputy leader of the New Horizons team for geology, geophysics, and imaging at Washington University, commented on this phenomenon saying, this part of Pluto behaves like a lava lamp. Only in this case, the lava lamp is nearly 1,000 kilometers wide. Computer models from James Webb show how clumps of inverted solid nitrogen can slowly change and form structures over millions of years. Along the rippled edges, cooled nitrogen ice falls away, causing the cells to shift visually. In fact, James Webb's images reveal several active triple junctions, providing a particularly lively view of the structure. However, this is unfortunately not an indication of the activity of any life form. What is happening in Viking Terra? 
the informally named region Viking Terra on Pluto has already been thoroughly studied, with researchers comparing data from New Horizons with that of the James Webb Telescope. These images were taken at a distance of only 49,000 kilometers and revealed another phenomenon that caught the researchers' attention. Traces of bright methane ice were found at the crater edges. More precisely, it's an accumulation of dark red tholins, small, soot-like particles that form through reactions of nitrogen and methane in the atmosphere. These particles give Pluto its typical red and white appearance. In regions where the surface appears smooth, the reddish material is noticeably thicker, and thanks to the long-term comparison, scientists have observed that this material also moves and forms channels. This process suggests that Pluto is geologically much more active than previously assumed. Thanks to the new images from James Webb, researchers have reconstructed that the many craters on the planet were formed by ice fracturing and evaporation. In addition, there are some overlapping impact craters. On the whole, Pluto's surface seems to be shaped by geological processes that are still active to this day. Based on the data collected by the NASA New Horizons spacecraft in 2015, scientists have created a model of Pluto, according to which the dwarf planet has a solid core primarily composed of silicate rocks and metals like iron. This core likely accounts for about two-thirds of Pluto's total diameter. The core is believed to be surrounded by a mantle of water and ammonia mixtures, which is highly likely to be in a liquid state. The still warm core of Pluto generates geothermal activity through the radioactive decay of materials. This internal heat keeps the crust, consisting of ice, rock, frozen nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide in motion, forming these fascinating structures that we have been able to share with you. Pluto researcher William McKinnon concluded the study's results with the following words. It looks more like tree bark or dragon scales than geology. It will really take time to figure this out. Perhaps it's a combination of internal tectonic forces and ice sublimation driven by Pluto's weak sunlight. Pluto in True Colors In this video, we will now take a look at some of the most beautiful images captured by New Horizons. After Pluto's reclassification as a dwarf planet, it seemed as if this celestial body, which was our ninth planet for a long time, was almost forgotten. Let's hope that images like these will have the opposite effect, and who knows, maybe the International Association of Astronomers and Cosmologists will reconsider and restore Pluto's official planet status. We would certainly be in favor of that, and if you have an opinion on the matter, we'd love to read about it in the comments after the video. New Horizons succeeded in capturing Pluto in its true colors. Being so far from the sun and in sparse light, it was a challenge that NASA scientists once again mastered with distinction. New Horizons provided humanity with a first close-up view of Pluto. Some images were taken from a distance of only 12,500 kilometers, revealing an exceptionally colorful face of Pluto. The detailed view reveals not only red and white spots, but also yellow, gray, and slightly bluish areas. Throughout its mission, New Horizons collected thousands of data points from Pluto and other largely unexplored objects in the Kuiper Belt. Currently, under the leadership of William McKinnon, scientists are still busy evaluating the data. The Space Snowman, Arakoth On this journey to Pluto and the distant regions of the Kuiper Belt, we don't want to withhold a particularly curious discovery made by New Horizons. This is Arakoth, the Space Snowman. The object, which partly really looks like a rather flattened snowman, is located 6.6 .6 billion kilometers away from Earth and has amazed scientists. Before New Horizons flew by, no human had ever seen this peculiar part. Today, it's considered the farthest object ever explored by a spacecraft. Arakoth likely formed through a gentle merger of two objects that once orbited each other. It would be a bit like if the Earth and the Moon suddenly stuck together. A pretty unusual concept, right? Researchers are just as fascinated by this object as we are, and naturally wanted to know what processes led to this unusual duo. The analyses revealed something astonishing, because the larger of the two lobes turned out to be a pile of 12 rocks clustered around a large disk. Arakoth may have formed as a byproduct of the fusion of two larger objects. When objects merge at high speeds, their rotation ejects material 
and form circular bodies. These bodies can even fuse at relatively low speeds in the Kuiper Belt. Due to their low gravitational forces, Arakoth's components merge slowly, creating this unusual shape. Scientists suspect that many more peculiar objects exist in the Kuiper Belt, and over the past 20 years, many more mini-planets have been discovered there. The discovery of Eris, Haumea, Makimaki, and many others ultimately led to Pluto losing its planetary status. Suddenly, Pluto became just one of many, and as astronomers didn't want to keep adding more planets to the list, the category of trans-Neptunian objects or dwarf planets was created. The Kuiper Belt and trans-Neptunian regions remain some of the last great mysteries of our solar system. James Webb has several observations planned for this distant and dark region. The new super telescope will provide us with entirely new views of many planets, asteroids, objects like Arakoth, as well as clusters and groups of rocks. We are staying updated and looking forward to sharing the latest images from James Webb with you soon. In the meantime, tell us what you think about the peculiar structures on Pluto's surface and whether you can imagine the existence of simple life forms like microbes on this planet.